they found out he put his clothes on the same way you do. When he leave the bathroom, it smelled the same way it did when you left it. He eats the same way you eat. You know, and then you all of a sudden all this whatever you had in your mind about this certain person all come crashing down and you find out that he that, that celebrities are just as human and just as much a person as uh as you are. So I I I've never been a person that chase a celebrity, so I wouldn't know exactly how they feel, but I do know on this end of the of the spectrum, they expect a lot more out of it than what they get. One, one thing of being married to a celebrity or a wrestler, for example, is a, is a lonely life for wives. Sure is. Very lonely life uh, uh, for wives. You can't take your wife everywhere you go. Just like, just like the guys with the WWE now. If you're on Monday Night Raw, they leave their house on Friday. They don't come back home until Tuesday. They fly home Tuesday morning because yep. they do Monday Night Raw. Right. So they fly home Tuesday morning. So they home Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Then they're gone again. Gone again. Gone again. Now, SmackDown, they leave their house on Saturday and fly home on Wednesday right. because they do SmackDown on Tuesday night. Right. So right after SmackDown, the Raw is, is, is the last book. So they on the road four days a week. Now, in my day, we got off. We worked 300 and 55 days a year. So if you were married to me back in the 70s, you saw me 10 days a year. But in the territories, a lot of those were yeah, trips you, you, you had could to go bring home your, the But when you night. move from one territory, like you'd be in mid-Atlantic, which is North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, but then you're there for two years, and then your, your time is up there. So what they would do now, they would send you to another territory. Your wife and kids had to, you had to pull your kid out of school, pack up your house, and take them with you. But the boys was on the road, even though you were in territory. Like in Charlotte, with the territory, the boys used to leave their house on a Tuesday, because we did Charlotte on Monday. Tuesday we did Raleigh, North Carolina. Wednesday we stay we stay over in Raleigh. We did we did TV taping on a. On, on Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, you even went to to uh, uh, Norfolk, Virginia, or you went to Charleston, South Carolina, uh, not Charleston, but uh, 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 Columbus, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. If you're on one, uh, the A team or the B team, or you went to Richmond, and or went to Charleston, South Carolina, or you went to uh, uh, Roanoke on Saturday, or went to Spartanburg on, on Saturday, and you was home Sunday. So even then, if your wife was living with you, she saw you on, on uh, Sunday and Monday and a half a day Tuesday. Wow. So it's always been. It's like you take an actor, for example. When they go on, they go on set to make a movie, they could be gone three, two to three months. You take a, a, a musician. When he goes on the road, like Michael Jackson, Prince, and all them guys, when they go on the road, uh, they, they could be gone for a couple of months. On the road. So the wife is, you know, she can't just, like Ronnie Piper's wife, you know, she very rarely, you know, travel with him. Mm -hmm. Huck Hogan's wife very rarely travel uh, uh, with him. They can't. They, they, you know, they, they, the promotion is not going to pay for them to come along. Right. Absolutely. So the rest of himself right. had to pay to bring his uh, uh, wife and family along. But then they call conflicts because the wife want attention, the kids want attention, the promoter wants you to work. And when you come home from those long tours, you want to rest a little bit, not exactly jump but you into can't. the fray. Well, exactly. You can't because right. now, because you have to, you ain't been around your wife, so you have to give her attention, and especially your kids. You know, for a wrestler with kids, he has no love life. No, really. All the kids take it all up. The moment you hit the door, the kids come running, jumping in your arms, and the kids were hanging around you the whole day. The poor woman, like the kids. No, I, the kids are always priority and they didn't one. see Absolutely. their dad. They didn't see their dad all week, so they're gonna be with him twenty four seven. Right. So you be the wife be lucky if she get a kiss before you go. Did your first wives before you wound up with the current Mrs. Atlas? Did they realize what a commitment it was to be married to a wrestler? They before? did. They did. And yeah, they won. My first wife wanted me to quit, buy a mule, and plow a cornfield. She wanted you to buy a mule. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Of course, back in, you know they didn't have all them tractors like they do now. Most farms were done by mule and, and, and horse team, you know.
And that wasn't the life. I didn't want to walk behind a mule all day. No, I, I didn't. I didn't think I went to the gym, won all them contests to plow a cornfield with a mule. Well, in the end, look at how it worked out. You have a wonderful lady at home. Yep, yep. She's very understanding. She, uh, you know, she gets sad every time I go out of town or something. But I'm not on the road as much as I were then. So she had it. She, in other words, she got it easier. She never saw you at your peak. Right. Your big right. peak now, if travel. we used to go to Japan, even now or then, the Japanese are not going to fly you over there for one day. Normally, right. when guys go to Japan, they're there for four to six weeks. Like we did Legend House for WWE, that was a six-week taping. So I was away from home for six weeks. You didn't wife, have weekends off or anything? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. They lock you in the house for a month and a half, and, and you just stay there. You don't, you're working. Right. Well, that's you know? what it is. So celebrity, you know, women that married to celebrity, they don't get to see all the glamour unless you marry a celebrity. Right. Because then she got her own life. So she, most of the time, you know, just like uh, what name uh, the girl Ozzy and what the Osbournes, Sharon and yeah, Ozzie. yeah, yep. they was able to travel together and stuff like that, you know. So it, it made it a lot easier when you got a, a woman. It's like right now Triple H and Stephanie, so it's easy for them. They you know they both do the they same. They can travel thing. as they like. Right, right, right. Like Nat and Lightheart, she married to a wrestler for a while. I, I believe I don't know if he's still married to her, but Undertaker was married to um, Michelle McCool. The World Wrestling Federation was live at the New Haven Coliseum in New Haven, Connecticut, Thursday, March the 27th, 1986. In the opening contest, S.D. Jones beat Rene Goulet. Tony Atlas battled Iron Mike Sharp to a time limit draw. Pedro Morales victorious over Moondog Spot. Jim Neidhart defeated Davey Boy Smith. Dynamite Kid with the win over Brett Hitman Hart. King Kong Bundy beat Tony Gurria. And in the main event, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, the Junkyard Dog, and the Haiti Kid victorious over Hoss Funk, Terry Funk, and Jimmy Hart. If you were in New Haven Live, share your memories in the comment section below. Use the links in the description box to help keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our acclaimed Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Inside Us at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Inside special edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad-free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times. Join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling.